the Western New South Wales Local Health District under a program called Rural Adversity Mental Health Program. We've been doing that for 10 years through the drought and now, unfortunately, through the floods. And my message overall is I know farms are really great at looking after their stock and their land and things like that. My message is now start looking after yourself and those around you. And today's a good example of seeing you all here. Is there anyone that would normally be here? I know people are pretty busy out there still trying to do things, but who's missing that should be listening to this information and you haven't seen them for a while? And they're the ones you have to keep your eye open for. And it's a good opportunity, having been here today, I can't believe I'm saying this again, because during the drought I was doing crop walks with agronomists and saying the same thing to guys. Who's missing that you can drop in on your way home and say, look, I went to this meeting and these are the topics are brought up and then at the same time you're engaging them to stay connected. The grief and the stress that people are going through with the flood is normal. It's okay to feel a bit of grief and to feel stress. It's when it's long term and they don't get over it, then we start to worry about people. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is keep an eye on your family and those in the community around you. And in after about six to eight weeks, if their mood stays low, they're not engaging, they're not doing the things they normally do, perhaps that's when you need to have a chat with them and sort of say, it's okay to ask for help. We've just heard about a whole lot of things that are available, the local land services are there to support you, DPO is there to support you around the running of the farm, but now we're going to look at how we're going to take care of ourselves. So there are lots of information out there that you can take, and the four main points we're saying is stay connected to your family and friends, stay engaged, stay involved with them. Try and get the rest you can when you can, because it's going to be a long haul. And if you've read any of the stuff I put up on Facebook, it's, yeah, I know it's been hard physical work now, but the mental work, filling out paperwork, chasing up the insurance companies work, it's going to be a long haul, so you're gonna have to take care of your physical self. Eat well when you can. Try to avoid too much alcohol. Um, <laughs> sorry, I heard that on the phone. Um, it's okay to have a few drinks, that's fine, but when the alcohol starts to take over your life and starts to numb how you feel, then that's a problem. And ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to knock on the next door neighbour's door and say, still having trouble with these fences, can you give us help getting it up and talk to each other? 